So, we're at the Stalking Show, Scott McKenzie, Gamekeeper of the Year, every year since I was at school, has now transitioned over to Faithful Ammunition. Scott, why are you happy to be an adult? I've heard good things about it. You've picked it up for me, so yeah, that's right. See what it's like on the, on the red, on Sky. It's one thing that's been on the hill probably longer than you. So, Federal Ammunition, Gamekeeper of the Year, every year. What more can I say? It's just winners, winners, winners. So, we're here, Viking Arms, with Chris Dalton. We are pleased to announce that Chris has now become an official ambassador for Federal Ammunition. He's been an ambassador for Leopold, Hainal for some time now. We just expand that into the Federal Range. Chris has taken on both the Power Shop and the Federal Premium Lead Free. So, Chris, maybe you could tell us why you're so happy to take on the Federal Brown. Because I like working with bike. Biking selling it, it's got to be good. No, seriously, I started out with Federal Ammunition. We've just been talking about this. My first rifle, 243, quite a few years ago now, because I'm an old bugger, um, using Federal Ammunition. I liked it at the time. I've been with a few other people since and used different ammunition, which I quite like, and it was absolutely great to get back to Federal again. No bullshit. If I use something, I'm out of the day with it, it's got to work, and it works. Particularly keen to, uh, to try to advance out, actually, the green. So I've uh, switched over for a while ago to non lead so it'll be really nice to see how this works, and I'm quite sure it'll perform well, so I'll watch this space. Kaylee. Afternoon at the Stalking Show on the Viking booth. You have been an ambassador for Leopold products for a long time, and I see there's a scope there that's taking your fancy, which I think is the new Leopold VX3 HD. Yeah, lovely little scope, uh, custom dial system on every scope that dials in and out. Really handy fire dot at crucial times like last night. Really good fast for the money. Brilliant, it's just everything that you like. You think about putting one of those in your new rifle you've just been looking at? Yeah, definitely. Perfect, like my stalker scope. Fantastic. I'm going to have to try and get Ben onto one as well. Put off his massive Mark 5. Yeah, try and get something a little bit more stalking orientated, but we know through. Ben likes his big. He's a kick boys, king, isn't he? Boys boys. Yeah, but he loves his VX5, but let's get you on those, the new VX3. Absolutely. Hey, thank you ever so much. Morning Emily, what are people looking at today on the rifle sections? <laughs> well, for me, it's definitely got to be this new Gen 2. Yeah, same as the brick shooting show. Yeah, absolutely. So the new Gen 2 brought out by Ruger. So it's based off the American action. So some massive upgrades. I think 10 years the rifle's been out. You've got fluted, Cerakoted, twist saw, spiral fluted barrel. Free floating once again. You've got a new bolt, so it's very, very slick. Is that the new stainless steel bolt and action, isn't it? Stainless steel bolt and action. Yeah. You've got AICS compatible magazine. You've also got boom heights you can change, stop weight, stop dimensions, three position safety as well. So there's some big massive upgrades on this rifle. Brilliant. Great rifle for somebody who wants a mid range Absolutely. stalking rifle. Still guaranteed one MOA. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you. Chris, nice to see you loitering on the stand. Hello, Andy. I would say I, the same, but you know. Yeah, I can mean, see so. you getting a bit um, in, a bit of interest there well, with I these just prospects. I noticed this because it just looked a little bit different. It wasn't something I'd immediately seen before. So um, it, uh, it'll be one I'm maybe getting for review at some point because it's quite a, a nice looking stock. Nice cheap piece. It's quite tall. It's obviously adjustable. It's quite slim profile as well, which I think is quite quite an important factor because so many people make adjustable cheek piece with this huge great round thing and you've got to roll your head over it. I like these because they fit close in. So uh, it's got a pick rail on it, it's got everything you really want you need to start off shooting. And the price? Yeah, it looks absolutely wrong. Thou no, thousand. That's, that is the price, the thousand quid. You've got a long range hunting rifle there. Is, is that aluminium chassis under there? That is, is actually an MDT made hunting stock. We've got the uh, Magpul logo there. Ah, very good. Well, I shall hopefully be getting one of those for review. We'll get one sent through to you in 6.5 and 308. 
the country's two favourites. 6.5 please, because even I can't handle a 308 stern recoil now. Okay, we'll get you a 6.5 <laughs> then. Some ammunition as well please. And we can certainly sort out some federal, federal ammunition. Excellent. How's that? Excellent. Nathan, thanks for joining us on the stand. We're on the Merkel section. We know you've been the intrepid hunter using Merkel and Hainal products. I see you've got my favourite toy there. What have you got there? Well, this is the Merkel double rifle in 375. Andy's pulled me over to the stand today to talk about it because we're doing a lot of hunts all over the world, different calibres, different rifles along the, the Merkel range. I shoot the Merkel Helix in 3006, which I've shot been absolutely tremendous today, uh, up to today but we're going for something bigger because we're talking about Mozambique which I'll be going to later on this year so it has to be a double it has to be Merkel and it's got to be at least 375 well you got 375 and you got 470 coming as well obviously hunting Africa and be a gentleman you've got to have a double rifle and we need to find you somewhere at the show a pith helmet oh absolutely I mean We'll have to have a look at the 470 when it comes in, but either way, I think this is either way, this is going to be business. 375, Universal a classic, is a gentleman's a gentleman's round for Africa. Fantastic. Nathan will get that gift wrapped for you, and I'll <laughs> see you soon. Cheers. So we're on the Leopold section now of the Viking stand with Chris, again an ambassador, long-term ambassador for uh, Leopold. Chris. You've used it for a long time. You've used it in some pretty extreme conditions up in Scotland there. Yeah. Well, what do I like about it? Um, price is good and the quality is good. I need a scope that performs in low life. I mean, you've been out scoping really yeah. very often out early morning, late at night. Our deer are purely wild, living in a forest. They don't like people, so we need to get at them early. You need a scope that's got that low life capability. But for me, I'm out this scope every day. So it's got to be robust and it's been dropped a few times and it's still works. So it's robust and robust enough for them to offer a lifetime warranty on it. Yes. And you're all about light gathering. There was the time that people thought only the Germans could do it. But now the Americans, the, the, the Leopold ranges, will match light transmission with anything that comes out of Austria or Germany. I've used all of those scopes as you know. The one that's on my rifle now, the one that I use all the time, on the on the Jaeger 10, is the yeah, yeah the VX6. It's got to work. It's got to work. It's not going to have a scope on there. I can see the deer through the binoculars. It's it's, it's the full package now. Yes. Somebody that is working in extreme conditions. It's yeah. the most popular brand for professional hunters in South Africa. It's growing more and more in the UK. We know it's it's obviously big in. Um, American, both military and civilians. But with the CDS car, do you find that clumsy really handy when you're on the open hill? Yeah, it, 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 I tend not to use that to be honest, Andy, because I mean, I'm much getting into sort of close ranges, but it's there if you need it. Uh, I'm a little bit old school, but the thing that I particularly like about this is it's easy to use. I do not want a new scope arriving a bit on my right and a degree in applied physics to actually offer this thing. Straightforward, easy, big dials, very clear, nice and clicky, so yep. if you're a bit, you know, getting a bit doddery like I am, it all works. And they've got the zero stop, so if you yeah. do have a you can, momentary lapse of concentration, you can't, you can't go too you can't, far down, it clicks back in and, you, and you're set. It's, it's, a, it's a, an idiot proof system, which is probably what I need. Me too. There you go. Josh, just thought I'd catch you whilst you've got a moment there with no one with you. What has been proving popular along the Leopold range? Well, surprisingly actually, the Mark V is usually a long range precision scope. Well, a lot of the younger generation are looking at it for hunting. And uh, I think it's a big opportunity with the younger generation. Yeah, it's very unusual. My generation would always use either a fixed power or fairly low powered variables. But yeah. I have noticed that you've been very popular yourself with this range of uh, products, especially the new Mark IV. Yeah, yeah, again, very, very popular today. Great. Catch you later in the show. See you later.